Ferris doubled on Diamond Simpson. Jody Vance got in from the middle, scores the 46 point for Alaska. And we're coming down to 2 and 39. Miranda's dribble interrupted. Here comes Baglio spearheading the attack. Drop off, yes! And Jody Vance is cooking here. And now this is an honest to goodness 30 second timeout. Hindi, ako naman mali kanina. Pero ito, walang pagkakamali doon sa Brought to you by Handy Fix The first aid ng bakay mo Bonds all, seals all One thing that you notice about the Aces Is uh, they take advantage of your turnovers That's right And the worst thing to make a turnover I've always told players The worst turnover you can make Is on top of the free throw line Usually that means a layup Pa home run na yun Ma sa kamila Mabuti pa, itapo mo na yung bola sa labas eh, Because they have to inbound And you can set up your defense Let's try to listen in to one of the huddles. We practice this, guys. I'm the first. Get your head in the game. You know what he's talking about there is the double team on uh, on Simpson. And then the cut of Devans. Devans is the hardest player to stop because Pag siyang kumat, ang malaki siya eh. So, sinong sasalubong sa kanya? They really do not have shot blockers on the floor. And that's why you want to be precise with your rotation. Because every time you go double team, you leave one man open. You cover for a split of a segment. And then go back to your original man, original man, or depending kung ano yung winner ko nyo na defensive scheme. Tama. Keep in mind that Freeman will be playing with three personal fouls. Two minutes. We're down to two minutes. Simpson, L.A., Devance, Baguio, lets it fly, good line. Ooh, what a rebound. Wow. Miranda, that will not work for Danny I. This game, slowing down just a tad here. Devance, L.A. Tenorio getting the rebound. And the coaches of Alas of San Miguel don't like that. Yeah, he was at the right place at the right time. And he's the smallest man on the floor right now. That will not work. And again, another rebound controlled by Alaska. San Miguel out rebounded Alaska in game number one, 58 to 49. But I'm sure that Diamond Simpson understands that he has to work extremely hard trying to narrow the gap of the rebounding disparity between Alaska and San Miguel. Alaska 48, San Miguel 45, under a minute here in the second. The first time I think we've seen Alex Cabagno here in the second quarter. Yep. And Simpson, 11 points, 11 rebounds up to this moment. Well, San Miguel used the full rotation of their point guards, you know, including Jonas. Pindana. All set along. All, well, all set. Look at this line. Wow. Iba talaga kung wala kang shot blocker. You know, you are uh, susceptible to penetrations like that. And but those are layups, Sirani, that you practice by yourself. Yes. And that's your right. Cyrus also understanding that Gay Freeman already has three per personal fouls. Ah. So I'm going to attack you. <laughs> that's, the good, that's a good point there. Pareho naman silang tig-tatlong fouls eh. <laughs> Arwin, short of that try. Mark Borboran. Quality game again for Mark Borboran. Well, the shot clock is off, so obviously Alec Demore is not going to rush this play. He's not even going to give up this ball. Alam mo, pag binigyan mo ng ball up for talaga us, talagang gagawa ng paraan yan eh. So, gila, hawak talaga niya. Bago niya pitawa niya, nasa lugar na. Ayan, tira mo na eh. Tapos sinawagan na offensive foul sa ilalim. This time, the last line defender for San Miguel was present. And Jay Washington, understanding that L.A. Tenorio is going to go for a dribble kick. Giving up his body, regaining this final possession of the quarter for San Miguel. Now, Alaska does have fouls to give. <laughs> Team Corrigan uh, is reminding them. Nako, this guy is going to get it off. Uh, that would have hurt them because that's wide open. <laughs> so, alam, gusto mag up ng foul. Probably. Si Simpson na pinaka-pwede dahil wala pa siyang fouls. And game two, 
and its first half now part of the colorful history of the PBA. I love championship games. Two very good, hard-working courtside reporters walking on the court. And there's something special about that. Who do I begin? Ladies first? Patricia first. Well, I'm talking to Diamond Simpson right now, D. One of the things that we talked about before this ball game is that San Miguel was expected to come out with more teeth. But how much more difficult are they as an opponent tonight? Uh, they're still pretty difficult. Uh, lucky for us, Gabe Freeman got into foul trouble. And uh, that helped us a lot. Uh, they're going to come out the second half with way more energy. And so what do you guys need to do then? Uh, you know, just focus in even more. Uh, it's hard so far. And uh, just we got to focus more uh, to, and execute better. All right, appreciate it, Diamond. Let's send it over to Magoo. Thank you, Patricia. We are with the Ninja Joseph Yo. Joe Yo, your import picks up three fouls. You guys were down double digits at that point, and then you string together 11 points. What goes through your mind when you get in the zone like that? Uh, well, I say the first room is now green, so the coach, yeah, everybody's off the bench. Every second group have to step up, so we are given the chance. Yeah, I have to step up now every second group. Second half, what more do we expect from the Ninja? Uh, well, same energy. If one thing is happening, playing time, the coach, you know, I'll just give my 100% uh, support deep on defense and on offense. Thanks for your time, Jojo, and good luck in the second half. Let's uh, take a short break when we return halftime festivities here at the Big Dome. Welcome back to our PBA Sunday extravaganza right here halfway through game two and the aces are up 50-45 against the Bearmen for Solar TV taking you through this wonderful breather that you probably don't want but you may need because of the excitement level and the intensity. My name is Patricia Bermudez. He's on now with eight teams already taking a break. There are some players who have been called for action and for duty because they want to also participate in the NBA Asia Challenge which they are working with the PBA. Right now we will send you through the highlights of the press conference. here tonight to officially introduce and unveil this year's staging of the biggest NBA event ever held in the Philippines and that is the NBA Asia Challenge. So with that said, I'm very, very happy to announce that we will be staging uh, the 2010 NBA Asia Challenge once again. This year's event will be held right here once again at the Araneta Coliseum on August the 27th, uh, and the exhibition game format this year is going to be a little bit different than it was last year. The first player is a defensive player of the year for the NBA in 1996, and in 2006 with the Miami Heat won an NBA championship, Gary Payton, Chris Webber. Joining the NBA legends this year, uh, like last year, are some of our best and brightest uh, future players from the NBA Development League. Uh, the chairman and I are very pleased that we will once again partner with NBA. We're looking forward to this event, so in fact, uh, I'm so excited that I'll get to see Gary Payton. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Gary Payton, so whichever team he plays for, I'll, I'll surely be rooting for that team. I talked to Alvin Patrimonio earlier, and they're, they're so excited. definitely invading the Philippines and they brought down one important personality who's now with Makumar John. Thank you Patricia. We are with Miami Heat head coach Eric Spolstra. Coach Eric, it is your first PBA game to witness live. How do you find this game? Oh, it's great. Very competitive. Uh, great championship series. I'm familiar with the PBA. I used to be a big fan of uh, Billy Ray Bates back in the day. Uh, so you are in Manila now for the NBA Fit program. Would you like to talk a little bit about this? Yeah, it's a great program. I've been around uh, the program for about a year now and uh, promotes healthy uh, lifestyle and living uh, by exercise and uh, eating right, being uh, having a nutritious uh, diet, and, uh, making healthy choices. But it's a great week uh, to um, connect with young kids here in Manila and uh, try to build habits early. Uh, you've been here a couple of days, but you will be here for a few more days, I think the rest of the week. Why don't you invite everybody, or how does uh, one get to join this program? Well, we're around uh, everywhere in Manila for a, a week. We seem to be doing clinics uh, two or three times a day. Uh, the promotions are everywhere. We're inviting everybody to come out, particularly kids. Uh, we want to start the education process uh, now, as early as possible, uh, about a healthy lifestyle, making the right choices. 
The NBA Fit program is in Manila, but the question everybody wants to ask you, Coach, how much are you looking forward to this coming NBA season with the Miami Heat? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, this week has been great because I've been able to connect uh, the NBA Fit, basketball, my family. I see a lot of relatives out here. Uh, but this season, obviously, uh, it's only 50 days away before we start training camp, and uh, hopefully we're going to have a great season. How about a message to all the basketball fans, the NBA fans, and Filipino fans in general that support basketball? Well, basketball is a great game. Uh, it's been great to, uh, to me and my staff. We're trying to give back to the game as much as possible uh, through the NBA and with the Miami Heat. And uh, we want to give back to uh, you know my mother's homeland uh, here as much as we can this week. I thank you so much, Coach. Uh, anything else? Would you would you like to add anything else to this? Uh, other than uh, seeing a, a lot of family and friends out here, it's a special week for me, uh, particularly going to my mom's uh, hometown in San Pablo later on this week. Uh, I'd just like to say, uh, Maraming Salamat, but it's really a special week. Maraming Salamat then, Coach, and good luck next season with the Miami and the NBA Fit Program. Let's send it back over to Patricia on the other side. Thanks a lot, Magoo. If they are packing the heat on the other side, we are too on this side. We're about to show you the top 10 plays of the week. Time now for BBA Top 10 Plays of the Week. Starting off at number 10, here's Cyrus Baggio with a huge block on Jason Castro. What right do you have and all that jazz? A block. Baggio's doing a little of everything. But right here, picking up a second block on Minnesota. Moving in at number 9, it's Showtime L.A. Denario slicing and cutting TNT defense. Turn over by TNT. Canario side stepping and scoring. Eli Canario gets to the middle of the lane, able to create something for himself. Already a 10 to 0 run being done by Alaska. Continuing at number 8, Alton Rosella sets up the Ninja Joseph Yo for the N1. The rebound, lead pass over to Rosella, fakes the pass, goes to Yo, oh, yes, and what? A big, big basket there. The miss of Meyer Hopper was able to allow this fast break for the San Miguel team. Kind of the joy of this game is when you give a nice assist as well. It's just as invigorating. Moving in at number 7, check out Jason Castro's clutch play. Bubble team, right in there. Here's Castro. 5 to shoot. Castro! Oh, what a, layup, what a great drive! Great counter, didn't settle for the jump shot, attacked the basket off the Joe DeVance's long closeout, and Jason Castro, who's been huge for his team in the second half, finishes a crucial layup. And at number six, Showtime LA strikes again with a dagger jumper. Tenorio back on the floor for the aces. Tenorio fires! <laughs> Just a lot of poise in that shot by Tenorio. He had a lot of rest on the bench. And he coolly made that shot. Making it to her top five. Ryan Reyes piercing through the heart of Alaska's defense. Now that should get uh, Diamond Simpson back in the group somehow. But again, you see Ryan Reyes. You see that penetration. They can't stop him from moving inside. Either he's scoring or he's fishing off. But he's the man of the hour for talking tech. I mean, you have to wonder, Kinito, if Alaska has anyone in their guard rotation that is strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ryan Reyes when he's driving. At number four, Gabe Freeman got away from this huge slam. Moves in. Good nice pass. handoff, and Freeman with a slam. Good pass right there. Gabe Freeman throwing it down with some authority. In her top three, Daniel DeFonso doing what he does best. Just out Trump there by Freeman, and now... Right. Right the room. <laughs> saying, I still got it. <laughs> That's how to do it. Oh, you gotta love it. The veteran, two-time MVP, running the floor and going up, even though he missed his last dunk, <laughs> and finishing this one. And at number two, it's teams up with his big time move. Oh, he wrote six. He wrote six. Got you, my bad, buddy. And speaking of what Dominic Lee reported, getting that ball in the hands of James Yup. James turned the corner on the semi curl, and that's just a crazy shot. Nice. <laughs> Can anyone say highlight reel? And our number one play of the week. Here's the ninja once again, post rising Don Eliado's huge frame. I don't know about Roger, the way Roger plays. But I need Oh, that's a four shot. Oh, woo! That is vintage Joseph Yo. That's hanging in the air there. Now, what you know? Open time to That is a. Uh, 
in defiance of laws of gravity. And that's it. Top 10 players.